Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Kenny. Today we are unboxing and going to be installing a water pump reservoir combo kit that I bought on Amazon for like 40 bucks, 50 bucks. Super dirt cheap, Chinesium type quality <sighs> junk. I was just kind of curious about this and once I actually got it. And if you saw my other video where I've done a previous cheap ass water cooling build, it's kind of fun to do that stuff, but we got all sorts of hardware and stuff, but this one kind of intrigued me just because of its really weird ass design. And again, I'm really sorry to the people that watch my channel and the delays that I keep having because life keeps getting in the way. And when you're just a one man star, editor, filmer, it sucks. It takes up a lot of time and it's really difficult to get this stuff done in a timely fashion. So I'm sorry. Thank you all for being patient and hanging out with me. I'm trying to push content to you guys as much as I can. Um, if you saw my YouTube short, <laughs> the stupid water block that I have for this thing laying around this AM4 socket, uh, I didn't know where the hell I put the hardware for it. I don't remember what hardware it requires. So I made it work. I made it work. I made some random ass crap work. Um, this is a super ass super weird ass design as this you know just a regular gina quarter fitting in here that threads onto here and you just apparently thread the reservoir in here which just seems really clunky and stupid you could have just milled into here and just made it work i don't know i got the screws threading into this thing although it seems like if you tighten it it tightens up on the bottom there too so that's kind of cool um we are able to open do this there's a lot of debris in here but we don't really care because the water block and stuff and the cpu cooler and the radiator probably have a bunch of debris debris in it we're just gonna run it and see what happens this is gonna be just kind of an experimental kind of fun little project for us and just to kind of screw around with and see what other kind of coolants we can throw at this thing see how much crap this thing can actually take um Oh, I suppose the return is on top too. So we got the return on top and the out on the bottom. Just regular G and a quarter fittings. These ones are kind of shitty fittings. I should probably replace them with other ones. So I got these other ones here and they have like a bulkier uh, barb on it. So the hose will, you know what? I'm not even gonna use these G and a quarter fittings. Screw it, I'll just add it to my collection. These ones, I don't really, damn it. These bigger barb fittings work way better with the uh, soft tubing that I use from the hardware store. So um, we'll just do that. Screw it. Oh my gosh, what the hell? <laughs> well, I hope you guys like bloopers because you're getting a freaking full ass share of it. Good lord, that's pathetic. Wait, we're not using these ones. You're using these ones. Like that. Like that. You can do that, because then you can have like a little waterfall effect. I don't know if you're supposed to like put it in this, but I'm gonna cap this one like this. Oh, you don't need to, well, yeah, we can cap it. No, we can't cap it. We, we literally can't cap it because we need, we can't fill it like that because the return has to, your, the return has to be sealed on the top. That sucks. That's what I hate about some of these designs. It's a lot easier to fill when you can just fill it with the cap off. But there we go, we're all set up. We're gonna go ahead and install this, figure it out how it goes, and uh, yeah, see what it's like, and run it, and set it up, and send it to the moon with all sorts of different crap. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think I just created the ugliest water cooling build I think I've probably ever seen in my life. Um, especially with, I don't know, access to many modern quality parts out there. But I think this will be a good, fun test bench to see what this ugly piece of crap can really do. We're gonna go out to the garage next, fill it up, see what this thing can do, if this pump can perform, 
pump water and cool this 2600X. This thing's hideous. I love it. What's up everybody? We're ready to fill the loop. As you saw, we put everything together. I just realized I forgot to put a drain in this thing. I didn't have an extra drain, so I might have to order one of those or find one of those, but whatever. This is a this is a garage experiment computer. This is a test to see if this pump works. Um, by the way, I just I, I don't think I mentioned it earlier. This is just a Bolex like on or off kind of pump, I think. I don't see anything on here that wait, maybe there's something on the bottom. Well, never mind. I, the thing on the bottom is just some sort of molded something to probably seal the motor or something. Uh, it doesn't appear to have any way to adjust the speed of the pump. So I guess that aspect is gonna be really interesting. Um, again, stay tuned to the channel because we still got that uh, thermal take uh, flow meter thing to try out. We'll hook it up in here and see, see if that thing works and see if we can see what this pump is really doing. Um, but we're just gonna try out uh, this pump first and see what it does. I got some uh, some London Dry Gin that we're going to be cooling with. No, folks, this is not actual gin. I wouldn't waste gin on water cooling. I drink the gin. Yep. Because if this is gin, I'm spilling it everywhere. It's going to be horrible. <laughs> Someone call the authorities. That is a giant bio... Oh! <laughs> All right, let's fill this pig up. See if it leaks. So far, the only thing that's leaking is the little squirter bottle guy. I have a little bit of EK cryo fuel still in this bottle, so that's fun, huh? Uh, squirt it in. So we'll have a little bit of color in the loop. It can probably help us identify leaks and stuff too. So far so good, a little bit of spillage there. See, this is why I was talking about how I wish you could, I wish they had the, a different, like, return port because, well, this makes it like a pain in the ass to fill up this way. It's so slow, it's, it's messy and now it won't hold any more fluid. So I guess uh, we'll just turn it on and see what happens. Nothing. Turn it on and see what happens. Whoa! We already got we already got fluid returning. Oh, you probably guess. Hold on. What am I doing? Hold on. You probably want to see the loop, right? God damn. See, this is this is why I don't this is why I don't get the views that. Paul's hardware, Jay's two cents gets, you know, because I'm really bad at this. I don't have an awesome guy to film or write or help me with any of this crap. It's just my brain dead ass doing this dead ass stuff. Is that, is that leaking or is that just my spillage vibrating? But we'll we'll take a look see here. Uh, this was sitting in my air conditioned house too. So, oh god. There you go. That that's classic me. I wanted to do it this way so I could fill it up here. But obviously I can only fill it up to here because the water won't go any higher. But I wanted to just kind of wanted to have that waterfall effect looking thing on this side with the water cascading down into the reservoir. I thought that would look kind of neat. The pump is surprisingly quiet. Um, most of the noise I'm experiencing right now is from the the cascading waterfall effect that I uh, I did with the way I set up the uh, return ho the return hose. Um, no leaks. It's very quiet. Uh, the, the, like the build quality is I don't know, meh. The mounting is the mounting surface is plastic. So that could be kind of iffy. Um, obviously they came with some uh, clamps that you could mount the reservoir to your radiator or whatever, or else have you. I don't know what that was. 
I don't know if you guys could hear that or not, but that car sounds beautiful. Um, yeah, if I would have set it up so it returned with the other hose and I could fill it up higher, I think it'd be actually a pretty quiet pump. I'm actually kind of impressed with what, how it sounds. Um, it's pretty quiet. Like I said, minus the cascading effect, no leaks. Um, we'll have to hook up. We'll have to do another video where we hook up the uh, the uh, the uh, thermal take guy and see how that performs. Because so far, not bad at all. I don't hate this pump. Um, we'll have to see how it lasts, I guess, and whatnot. But other than that, this thing is not bad at all. I don't see no PWM thing to hook it up to your motherboard or anything like that um it's just literally just a molex with a power and a ground so that's probably the only negative and then obviously the mounting surfaces are kind of a negative um but other than that it's all right for a budget so you guys i don't know you have to let me know what you guys think about it and if there's anything else you want me to see with it but we'll have to probably get a drain so I can do all the weird, fun, different types of things with it. Um, just because I can, and I want to, and I think it'd be entertaining and funny just to see what this pump can actually do. <sighs> well, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video, you guys. I think this thing is going to be a fun little thing to throw uh, different types of coolants and liquids in it. Um, I'm sure you can see by now I am sweating my balls off in the garage. I don't know how hot it is, but it's like 90 degrees outside in Minnesota right now at the time of filming. So this garage is probably closer to 100 degrees. Um, yeah, so I'm dying and this pump is probably not going to. So I think I'm going to wrap this video up, you guys. Take it easy, be well, like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And uh, share this with your friends if you want to share it. If was, whatever, I don't care. It don't matter. Do what you guys want to do. You know how it is here. Um, take it easy, be well. Stay tuned to the channel. Like I said, we got it. We got that thermal tech to do. We got other liquids to th throw at this thing and see if we can trip it up, screw it up, what it can handle, what it can't. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video, you guys. I don't know why I winked at you.